cuties i hope that you are well this is your girl tia bella and welcome back to my channel and if you are new thank you for joining and watching my video today i hope you like comment and subscribe so my amazon order has arrived all of this is savilon products and i'm starting off by opening up this set now this set is the base gel the top coat and the primer. Now it comes with a little information or instruction guide that lets you know how to use the product. And then it has these three bottles in them and all of them are this size 15 mil. Now I do not have any base gel, top coat, top gel or primer products from Savilon, but I do have and have used their poly gel as well as their acrylic powder as you would have seen in previous videos. So I want to test out their base gel, top gel, and their primer with their poly gel and acrylic powders that I already use. So I wanna essentially do a full set using only Savilon products. So moving on to the next product. Now, recently I have started doing acrylic powder nails and I have purchased Savilon acrylic powder kits, but I didn't have their clear. And so I definitely wanted to purchase one of their clear powders so that I am able to create my own colors. Now, in a few of my previous videos, I have kind of created my own custom color. So if you are interested in creating your own custom colored acrylic powders, then I definitely recommend you purchasing this four ounce. This is a size four ounce. So this is pretty large and it's going to last you hopefully for a very long time. It does include an information and instruction pamphlet of the correct way to use this acrylic powder. However, again, I am a DIYer. I like trying different methods. So sometimes I do not follow the instructions um, on the pamphlet, but I just wanted to let you know that there was a pamphlet in there. So make sure you do follow the instructions of the seller. moving right along so so far i have purchased i believe three acrylic powder kits i think it's either three or maybe two but i didn't have any nude colors so i went ahead and purchased this next kit also it has the instructions um, and guidelines on how to use the acrylic powder the manufacturer way um, but these are the colors that are in this kit, starting off with this very shimmery, silvery looking one. It's gorgeous. It has lots of pretty glitters in there. And then this appears to be a very neutral color and this says Cinnabar. So that's a really cute name and I like this color. This looks like this would really go well um, on my complexion. Next up, we have a light gray color. So this one is a simple colored acrylic powder. This would be good for, I guess, winter designs. Next up seems to be another glittery one. It's called Khaki, it appears, um, but it's so pretty. I'll be curious to see how these work with the no monomer method that I recently started doing so this is another neutral looking one that's a nice color as well so i'm going to be testing that out too because i want to do some neutral designs this is another neutral one i'm not sh too sure about this one the color says light khaki um yeah so we'll just have to see how these colors turn out but most likely i'm going to be mixing these up this is a black i had previously purchased a neon acrylic powder kit from Savilon. So I actually already have a black, so that's gonna be a little extra duplicate. This is another glittery one. Lots of gold and some 
multicolor in there. Very nice for the summer. And moving on to this one, this looks just to be a regular white. So this would go great for a French nail. And last but not least is this red. Um, the actual name of this one is called Wine Red. And I also do have a Wine Red poly gel, I believe, as well. So that is the final color in this collection. So this is the last product in this Savvy One haul and this is their pink poly gel collection. It has a little pamphlet showing all of the poly gel products that are available. All of these are not available on Amazon UK and I'm just pointing to the one that I actually purchased, but there are a few more that I really want to get. I know that there was a blue, a purple, and a green kit similar. So included in this kit are some dual forms. I don't use dual forms because I've not yet perfected as well as some nail forms. I also don't use those as well because again, I'm pretty stuck on the lazy girl method by Femi Beauty and now the no more number method. So this is another set of base coat as well as top coat. Um, I actually didn't remember that this was included with this poly gel kit. So I, I guess this will be an extra. This is the slip solution. I don't, also I don't use slip solution as well. I find just using regular base gel with my poly gel works really well for me. Um, so this kit also comes with two magnetic cat eye poly gels. So that little magnetic tool is going to be used for that. This comes with a spatula. I typically don't use their the spatula that comes with these kits because most of the time, if you see that orange kind of brush, they don't work as good as the dark brown brushes. So the bristles are a little bit different. That was a 100 180 file as well. So this is a poly nail gel. Um, I'm not going to open up all of these because I do believe I'm going to be saving a few of these for a giveaway. So this one says acryl gel. So that first one says poly nail gel and then this one says acryl gel. So I'm not sure if there is a difference between them, but I am curious to see how those two and these ones are poly nail gels. So I have some glitter, um, poly gel from Savlon that I really love. Their, this is the cat eye, that's a wine red. Their poly gel is phenomenal. Like I highly recommend their poly gels, especially the colored one. That's a highlight white. And this is another cat eye poly nail gel, silvery looking one. And then lastly seems to be another glittery poly nail gel. So that's a glitter red. They're all really pretty. And if you were to purchase at least one product from Savillon, I definitely recommend the poly gel. So now I want to kind of show you what my desk looks like when I am setting up to do my nails as well as record my YouTube videos. So typically because I'm using like um, acrylic powder, I usually have my mask here on the desk to avoid inhaling any of that dust. And I have my little sanding bands when I want to mix using my Melody Suli Drill. If you've watched any of my previous videos, recent videos, you'll see that I use my drill to kind of combine the different colors together. Now, also, I usually have a base gel, a top gel, a primer, and a dehydrator. I also usually have a some sort of poly gel for the Lazy Girl Method. And because I'm going to be doing acrylic, I have all of the different colors that I want to combine. So you would have remembered that I just showed you this nude color and I'm going to be adding this kind of hot pink, neon pink from a previous collection, as well as this kind of light pink from another collection. So those colors I'm going to be combining. I also have my alcohol wipes. And I also have, like, you would have seen this before, like, I'm going to be adding this kind of pink 
from this kit, uh, from this eyeshadow palette to my acrylic powder. So I have my duster brush, I have my little dish to collect the duster brush, and then I have my basic essential tools like my file and um, my cuticle pusher. I also have my little square nail tips. I usually keep five out because usually I just do my non-dominant hand. Um, so I have my five tips out and then I have my little uh, napkin, just paper towel just to collect any dust. Also, always have a notebook on the table to write down your ideas. So now, I know I'm doing a lot of talking today, but I just wanted to show you what my collection is looking like. Now, I'm not any big star. I'm just another small YouTuber. So my collection isn't going to be anything impressive. Like I have this Ikea um, bookshelf and I just kind of sectioned each area for a certain type of nail art and nail decor that I have purchased so far. So I'm just gonna go over all of the different areas. Now this is a level, the top level. <laughs> We're gonna go by levels, the top floor. So my top floor is my Savilon products. So I have my Savilon poly gel, I have my acrylics, and I also have their builder gel. I've only used the builder gels I think once so far since I purchased them. And then I also have my Savilon dipping powders i have actually not used the dipping powders at all yet so these are practically brand new and they are exactly the same size as the acrylic powders um you can ignore this remote uh that's for something special i'll show you about that a little bit later okay so on level two is beetles in room one so I have all of my Beatles gel polishes. They're gonna to need to get wiped down and dusted down as well. And my poly gels and everything Beatles is in that area. But on this side, I do have like the basics, the base gel and top gel and um, the looming gels and like alcohol and acetone. And so this shelf, I have some pins here because I wanna start a nail vision board. Um, uh, I'll get into details on a separate video. I also have lots of water decals. I also have 3D stickers, gold and black and white. Um, some of them I have not even opened as yet because I just have a lot. I believe I got those from Amazon. And then I got these loose ones from AliExpress. So I also have like these holographic nail stencils. You kind of place them over your nail and then paint or polish over them I have not tested these out yet and I also have these flame stickers that I got off of Amazon I've used these before on my nails I think just once um so those are the McCart Valentine stickers I also have some dragons and some butterflies in the back here as well so these are like my used um foil transfers that I possibly use once these are nail adhesive stickers if you want to do press-ons um, that's my McCart pump ups and that's also McCart dual forms as well I've not used the dual forms and these are just more nail transfer stickers and then some 100 180 files and buffers in the back there as well Sliding over to our next room, uh, I would say this is a mix room. I have my model one polishes as well as the base and top gel. I have some Easter stickers and confetti that I recently used for um, my nails. And then I have a lot of my foil, my nail foil transfers here as well. So these are like a marble design. These are my metallic and then I also have this set, which is more like a lace. And also these are like the Valentine ones. So I have like two boxes of those. Um, so Valentine's is gone, so I don't need those. Those dishes I use to dip my brushes in um, alcohol or, you know, acetone. So those are more marble nail transfer foils. And then I do have some designer. I don't wear any of these 
brands at all so the closest i'll ever get to any name brand is going to be on my nails so these i got off of amazon i don't even know what some of these are to be honest so we will have to figure out and then these are my florals like i love all of the florals spring is here so i'm gonna be doing lots of pretty floral designs oh i just love nail transfer now there are people that love drawing so those are more like nail art and then there is me who just loves to design nails so i'm definitely a self designer so this is an amazon an expensive amazon dipping kit from Wakania. these are my mccart poly gels as well as my mccart gel polishes i think i've used maybe two this is also a cheap um, inexpensive um, gel polish that i got off of amazon they were neutral colors and so i just wanted to test them out but i actually don't like the consistency moving on down to level two this is also like a mixed shelf. I have some pom-poms, I have some glitter, I have some foils for when I, re when I um, remove my, want to soak my nails off, I should say. And then I had just stuff like basic brushes and scissors and, you know, just basic stuff, nail art tools, I would say. And then if you do do press-ons, if you are interested in press-ons, you're gonna need these little stands. These are magnetic nail stands, so, you apply like some blue tack onto them and then you apply the nail and then you're able to design your nails freely moving on to the next door this is the glitter office this is where i keep all of the rhinestones i keep lots of glitter here these ones are from amazon most of these i would say is from amazon and then a few of these i got from aliexpress i don't remember which ones i have i have quite a collection here i'm not going to show you all of them because we would be here all day there is at least what 5 10 15 20 possibly 25 um boxes here so i have some dried flowers i have some glitter i have some stars and then i have some like gold and silver i don't know what to call these rivets and then i have some like holographic ones lots and lots and lots of stuff some of these i've not even never used never opened so down below there is the the ones from mccart from the valent from the hooked on love collection and again i've only used that really like once or twice so these are foils so we have some gold foil as well as some silver foil and then i have this trolley full of more glitter these were in a recent amazon nail haul so you would have seen most of these um before however i will try to link the video for that haul if you are interested so on the ground floor is very lame not exciting so i have some like empty jars for when i mix my acrylic powders i believe i got these hmm i'm not sure where i got the jars from i don't think i got them from amazon because these were really expensive um so the and self um gel pots are down there below and then i have these swatch sticks um and then whenever i make a nail design i just kind of toss them all over the place so i started tossing them in this box so that's kind of my little toss box and that's basically it in terms of the different layers of my little nail kingdom so i hope this video has been a little bit helpful i hope that you join the nail family and i will see you in the next video